Greetings, cocktail aficionados. It's John Moser with yet another edition of Cocktails Out of Quarantine. The drink that I'm going to make today is called the Ruby, and it is another vodka drink. Is this becoming a trend? Who knows? It's not a very old drink. It has been invented in this century. I guess we're already 22 years into this century, which seems amazing to me. But it is uh, it was a drink that was invented by a true legend of mixology, Tony Abu Ghanim, uh, AKA the Modern Mixologist. Check out his website, modernmixologist.com. He's written a bunch of books. I believe he is in uh, Vegas now uh, as, a, as a beverage manager, and he's, he's been all over uh, national TV. He is, uh, he, he's certainly one of the biggest celebrity bartenders in the world right now. So what he's designed is a vodka drink that has several interesting flavors added to it. And here's the thing with vodka, it sort of tends to, to, uh, to, to carry whatever, uh, whatever flavors are added. So we've got uh, St. Germain. Well, wait a minute, let me just show you what we're gonna need. So vodka drink, we've got Kettle One, old reliable standard uh, in the vodka world. We have got elderflower liqueur. St. Germain's the gold standard here. There are plenty of others that are out there, but none so well known as St. Germain. And I haven't made a drink with St. Germain in a lot. Oh, it's so wonderful smelling. Let's see, we have Aperol, that classic Italian liqueur. Let me take a look. Mm, that's delicious too. I don't use Aperol nearly as much as I should. Uh, and then we've got a couple kinds of juice. We're gonna use ruby red grapefruit juice, hence that's gonna give it the, uh, the, 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 the pinkish color of the ruby, and of course that's where it gets the name. And lemon juice, and then we're gonna, we're gonna garnish it with, uh, with a bit of grapefruit peel. Oh, and I forgot, this is one of those drinks that you want foam. There are other options aside from egg, if you have objections to egg, or maybe you're allergic to egg. Uh, aquafaba is, is, is one of them. Uh, I like egg personally, so I'm gonna be adding some egg white, hence the egg. All right, those are all the things you need. Let's make the drink. So because we are using egg white, we are gonna start with a dry shaker. We're only gonna add the ice and shake at the very end. We ought to emulsify the, uh, the egg white to get that beautiful foam on top. We will start then in our dry shaker and an ounce and a half of vodka. Boom. Three quarters of an ounce of Aperol. that's going to contribute to the nice ruby red color of the drink as well. And then three quarters of an ounce of St. Germain or whatever elderflower liqueur you want to use. There we go. And now three quarters of an ounce. Hmm. Yeah, here's the thing with grapefruit. A little bit too big for my uh, for my handheld juicer, so I'm going to very carefully spray this, squeeze it into here, and oh, it's a little bit more than three quarters. It's going to be close enough. And now my lemon. lemon comfortably gets us three quarters of an ounce. And then finally the egg white. It's been a little while since I separated an egg. Let's see if I'm still competent at it. There we go. That is Perfect. Oh. All right, now we are going to shake that really well for like about 30 seconds. 
and I'm not gonna bore you with it, so we'll come back when it's done. Okay, that about does it. Now we're gonna take the top off, where we'll add ice, and we're not gonna shake it much at this stage. This is just for the purpose of chilling it. And now pour. See, if I'd shaken it more, there would be even more of a f more foam on top, but that's still okay. Now, I am going to take this half of grapefruit that I didn't use, that I didn't squeeze, and cut off. Now, I'm going to trim the sides. I'm going to trim up the sides. Oh, I've got too many bottles accumulating here. Just ask, ask my wife. It's interfering with my workspace. Anyway, see, I've got this. It's reasonably good looking. I'm going to express it. Get a little bit of the oil over here. I'm going to rub it along the edge of the glass. And then I am going to position it strategically on the side. This is the ruby. So let me have a taste. Oh, it's delicious. There's a lot going on here. Obviously the citrus is very prominent, but you definitely get a taste of the elderflower, you get the Aperol. This is a really nice drink. It's a gorgeous day here in North Central Ohio, perfect day for a drink like this. So maybe give it a try sometime. Until next time, cheers.